not everybody is accessing the, the, the NHS in the way that we would want them to. So that's why the pay set are principles of, of identifying particular groups experiencing most disadvantage, most discrimination, that we take extra effort to reach out and engage with those groups so that they too get the best from the NHS based on those principles of, of universality and fairness. In terms of patient care, we're all individuals and we all come from different backgrounds and services need to be tailored to meet those different needs. With the programme and leadership, we, there has been much innovation and it has been uh, very important uh, because this has enabled groups who wouldn't normally be the focus of uh, attention uh, to be so. And that has brought much learning as well as many individual benefits. So the programme has actually helped improve services to the communities and to individual patients when they're receiving care. What Paysetters is doing for us uh, through the work in the pilot areas is identifying exactly what those barriers are to particular groups that experience discrimination, what those barriers are and what can we do to remove those barriers, how can we ensure that we learn lessons from good practice that ca that's carried out in the Paysetter areas and then hopefully we can um, uh, apply those lessons right across the National Health Service. We're trying to think about things in relation to the health inequalities that are experienced by many people within equality populations. Um, and what PACE has done is given us some very tangible things for us to focus on. Um, and it's, it, it is that that's been very key, so that as we've been working our way through a number of corporate and strategic objectives, we've had this link with real projects on the ground in NHS organisations that are having a real impact on communities. And that feedback for a regional organisation like a strategic health authority is really, really key because it keeps us thinking about what are the outcomes. It keeps us very much thinking about what is going to make a difference. And that focus has been very, very important. And that's the difference that Paysetters has provided. We are learning some excellent lessons about how to engage with discriminated groups, whether it's patients or staff, those that experience some form of disadvantage and are not getting the kind of service that we would expect everybody to get. And in wave one, wave one we learn a lot of those lessons. Wave two, mm -hmm. we're particularly interested in how we take the lessons, mm -hmm. carry on the learning, but mm -hmm. embed it in the mainstream of how mm -hmm. the NHS works right across the country. In Bristol, we've looked at uh, gay, lesbian and transgender people and, and looked at how their needs can be assisted, as well as the deaf and hard of hearing. The ambulance service has looked at how help can be given to farming communities, which is a very different angle uh, in terms of diversity but some of the communities in recent years have had real problems and we as an SHA have concentrated on disability and uh, developed a single equality scheme which we believe uh, brings it all together in a coherent way. We think about the patients all the time quite rightly but of course within such a large organisation as the National Health Service, staff too, may, certain staff may feel that they, they experience discrimination or disadvantage, that they're not actually feeling that the service is universally for them as yeah. employees. So that's the other part of Wave 2, is to make sure that individuals from those discriminated groups who work within the NHS, with the staff of the NHS, really are treated uh, fairly equally and, and properly as, as members of staff. And of course, the more that the service reflects the, the communities that it serves, the more likely we are to serve those communities more effectively. It is an important thing for leaders to do because it is in fact looking after the future uh, of the NHS and its workforce. Uh, and valuing diversity is going to be part not only of modern but of future Britain.